Okay, hi, this is Jennifer with the News Telegraph, and today we're talking to Roger Herring, the Parks Director, and we're going to have um, a discussion about Kitty Corral. The Park Board has been discussing that for a while, Roger. Um, can you kind of uh, explain how the topic has been coming up in recent meetings about the Kitty Corral? Sure. Uh, we did uh, a year, year and a half ago, we had an engineer come in and do an assessment of Kitty Corral because uh, structurally it was it's really starting to deteriorate and and most native people to Atlantic you know say well you know it's a it's a it's a great facility and I totally agree with that but it's also got a lot of age on it and uh, because of that we did that study and and the study came back that it has uh, some serious trip hazards in the flooring. Of the of the building, and so there are people that can't use it or won't use it because of that. The uh, wooden structure is starting to deteriorate. The uh, building is actually separating from the footings, and and the, and the roof is in in need of replacement. So you evaluate all of that. You evaluate whether or not your best bang for your buck is to refurbish or replace. Well, in this case, the engineer indicated to us that we'd be better off in replacing Kitty Crow. And it is, and a lot of people don't realize that the Kitty Crow is a 1940s structure. Oh, wow. So it, we, we've, I'd say we've got our money that's worth out of it. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, exactly. And so the, the decision was to look at the possibility of replacing and, and re, refurbishing it. Okay, and it sounded like at the last board meeting you uh, had discussed a preliminary site plan, um, which I believe you have that in front of you. Can you uh, talk a little bit about that plan, what um, you kind of hoped or the board hoped to possibly uh, use? Sure. I'm more than happy to, uh, to share that with you, and it is exciting to be able to look at that because it is a beautiful area, and, and it's highly used by our uh, by our residents, and, and so uh, we would we would be looking at obviously demolishing the old kitty corral, and then replacing it with a, with a totally new structure, and in, in evaluating that site plan, Snyder and Associates uh, were were the the people that came in and, and helped us with this preliminary plan, and uh, and of course in going into a, a planning process, what are, what are your priorities? One priority is that uh, is that it needs to be handicapped accessible, which currently the one that's there is not. And so uh, we need to make that a high priority. The other is to be able to get some vehicles in and out because of handicapped accessibility and also be able to allow people with mobility problems to be able to get to the, get to the uh, shelter and the playground area uh, uh, you know, in, a, in, a safe, in a safe manner. And then the other priority is to, uh, is to again, create a, a very aesthetically pleasing area that's going to continue to have the high usage that it does have. And so what we, what the site plan came up with in keeping those priorities in mind is you can see, as you look at this, uh, site plan is the, the light area right there is the old location of, of the of the uh, shelter, and that will be the one that we demolish. The dark brown rectangle is the roof line of the new shelter, and you can see that what we've done is we've rotated and moved the new shelter forward, uh, which would be somewhat to the south and west, uh, 10 or 12 feet, and rotated it a little bit to look a little further to the southwest as opposed to directly south. And then the uh, gray area running to the street here, that would be the 10-foot uh, the sidewalk service drive that would lead up to it that would allow for handicapped accessibility. And again, if someone uh, needed to drive up there, drop someone off at the shelter because of mobility problems, they would be able to do that. They could drop off their equipment, their coolers, their food drive back out and park on the street. We will not have parking uh, in that area whatsoever. They'll still have to go back to the street. Consequently, uh, that would be uh, that would be a very nice facility. And, and the nice part of that drive there, we were able to figure that it is uh, the slope of that area would not require a lot of 
of grading or anything else. And so uh, it works very, very well for ADA uh, requirements to get to, to, to make it handicapped accessible. And so those would be the two highest priorities. The other, other things around it that are very important is there would be a new electricity to that building, there would be new lighting, there would also be a, a water access uh, created there also. So we would, we would have water and electricity available, even though electricity is available at uh, Kitty Corral at the current time, but it would be upgraded. Then uh, you can see off to, the, to your right, uh, that would be uh, uh, a new fire pit. Uh, there, very similar to the one that was done as an Eagle Scout project up at the Camlin shelter. So there's some real nice amenities that we would like to add. Those would not be the highest priority. The highest priority again would be the shelter and, and the drive, uh, the service drive going up to it uh, for the replacement and then the other things can, uh, we can phase those other things in. And basically those other things are just seating around the playground areas and the playground equipment and that's kind of that's kind of what we've been talking about and discussing and uh, we'll be talking with the city council about it the park board uh, has given me the green light to do some things and then we'll finalize the plan put it in front of the uh, city council and and uh, then look at some funding mechanisms for that but we have set aside some money for uh, replacement of, of uh, Kitty Corral. Okay, and I know you have another um, uh, picture over there next year as well, and uh, I believe that's uh, a possible um, suggestion of what the new Kitty Corral could look like, or at least one that the board was interested in. Yes, um, yes. and, and uh, again, it's a, it's a more modern, it's a, it's a more open shelter as opposed to the one that will be demolished. Uh, and and there's some reasons for that, and I'll share that, share that with you as well. But I, I've, I've shown them three examples. We wanted to keep the rustic look and the outdoor feel at that shelter, uh, similar to the one that, that's there. So uh, I showed them three different things, and this is the one that they, they like the best. And uh, I've had a, conversations with two different service groups as well and showed them the three examples. And this is also the one that they felt... Uh, that they would like to have in place up there. So as you look at this, you can see that it has an arched arched pillars and, and it has some real character to the building. And uh, that would, it would be something similar to this. That isn't the finalized thing. We are talking about putting some stonework along those pillars there, uh, again, to uh, just create a little more aesthetically uh, uh, pleasing uh, look to that shelter. Uh, but again, it's, it's much more open. The reason for that, the old kitty corral has the, I'll call them bench seats, kind of around the outside of it. Those are nice, but they also create some security issues for us because people and animals can hide behind that at, at night and those kinds of things. And so for security reasons, we feel it's important that we have a security light in there and keep it somewhat dimly lit at night so when uh, law enforcement or anybody who drives by they can see what activities might be going on up there uh, so it's an open shelter and uh, but we do feel it's very aesthetically pleasing uh, to the public and so that's a consideration that we're talking about that particular structure right there is uh, about uh, a thirty thousand dollar structure that's thirty by fifty same size as the one that's currently there Okay. Well, thank you very much, Roger. Appreciate your time talking about Kitty Corral, and um, I'm sure we will be discussing this more in the future. And uh, thanks again. You bet.